Hi, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to backup to external drive on the Windows 11. So the first thing that you would like to do is just go and open your PC that contains your Windows 11. Of course, if you're a Windows 10 user, you can just go into your settings and upgrade into Windows 11 right now and for free. Of course, you can run the installation or the download of Windows 11 into the background of your PC if you want to keep using it in the meanwhile. Your PC might be a bit slower, but it's not going to be a big problem, especially if you have a good PC, you will not even notice the difference. Of course, once the download or the installation is done, you will be notified to restart or to reboot your PC and when you do that, you will find yourself with the Windows 11 ready to use. Of course, you, the upgrade from Windows 10 into 11 will not delete any files or any personal files from you, so don't worry about this side. And of course, uh, you will even have a recovery point if you want to go back into your Windows 10 whenever you want, if you may be facing some issues, which is not most likely to happen or if you just like Windows 10 better, but I bet when you get used to Windows 11, you'll like it as much or even more than Windows 10. So as we said in the beginning of the video, is we would like to back up the external drive on Windows 11. So the first thing that we'd like to do is just go into our settings. Of course, we will have to use the file history to back up to an external drive or network location. So we'd like to open our settings by pressing Windows I or just go and open your settings with your regular way. You can just go and press the startup menu and look for your settings. And of course, once you are here, make sure to uh, go into this finder setting and make sure to type backup and here go into backup and sign your settings. Of course, here, of course, as you can see here, your password won't sign until you verify your identity on the, on this device. Make sure if you have a, a Microsoft account, just verify yourself here. And of course, and now of course, just go and open your control panel and make sure to go and select this view uh, by category. And make sure to select into this system and security. Make sure to just go and select this save backup copies of your files with file history. And of course, you'll have to wait a bit until it's search for drives. And once it's here, as you can see, you can just go and select your drive. Of course, this drive is turned off, so just turn it on and select it, and the backup will start into that drive. So, this was actually for this tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you guys for watching. Goodbye.